Uh, hi, I would like to tell you something about the current status of Dynava TCH1 watch. Uh, first of all, sorry about my English and please uh, bear in mind that while the hardware is basically finalized now, uh, the software you're going to see is very pre-pre-alpha phase, uh, basically just a proof of concept uh, that what we intend to do can in fact be done in the way we think. So uh, now this is the dev board and the development board and the watch itself is basically just this tiny bit, just a few millimeters around the display. Now I will try to boot, boot the watch. And now it started uh, a very basic application which uh, basically just counts uh, every 300 milliseconds and displays some kind of uh, memory information. Now I can use this button to switch between this amazing application and other application which is this one which basically just shows the incoming button events. While I do this, the other application is running in the background. I switch back to it. Now I see the counter has been running all the time. Uh, all these buttons are uh, of course just for development. On the final watch the buttons will be on the sides of display. So. Uh, I think uh, this is not uh, not very amazing, but uh, I think the following thing uh, is rather interesting. Now I will reboot the watch into USB mass storage mode, and I will show you uh, how these applications were actually written. So. Now the watch appears as a simple storage device on my desktop, I open it, like external hard drive, and now I see what's on the watch, it's a f fat file system. And now here I see directory called apps, and when I look into it there is an application called button test, which in fact did all those uh, nice nice uh, colored lines and uh, as you can see uh, this application is in fact just a simple script which is uh, written in uh, Lua scripting language and it's uh, very short you can see in fact not only this application but uh, the majority of the operating system I mean all those task switching and running into back in background and uh, switching between screens, all that is in fact written in pure Lua language. So basically if you want to rewrite the operating system uh, you just uh, look here in the, into sys directory and uh, here you can see routines uh, f uh, for bitmaps, for task scheduling uh, and so on. For example uh, that uh, boot animation is here in this directory here are PNG images which get loaded by this boot animation script and which is again very simple and displays the animation. Interesting thing is that uh, Lua is uh, in fact, in fact uh, much faster than we first thought. First, uh, we were afraid that we will have to do basically all uh, graphics uh, in uh, C, in low-level uh, subroutines, but uh, here is the binary file, which is called main bin, and it's about uh, 400 uh, kilobytes long right now, and this uh, contains 
all the low level functions which are written in C and which do all the low level stuff in the watch like uh, getting the events from the hardware actually putting the color pixels on screen and so on and uh, some basic very basic bitmap operations but for example when you when we did the printing in our applications the printing itself is done mostly in lua so if you print some string uh, there is a lua subroutine that basically uh, takes that string one character after another and uh, constructs uh, the image from those uh, characters one character by one and this is in pure Lua just calling uh, some basic uh, C function which composes uh, those bitmaps so uh, basically uh, it's uh, surprisingly fast and uh, it uh, can be made even faster in the future when more parts of uh, this system are rewritten from uh, Lua to uh, C. So uh, you can see if you just want to quickly uh, try some programming with uh, TCH1 watch you just need uh, any operating system and uh, text text editor to to write those Lua scripts. Of course uh, there is also a debugger available which connects to the watch and shows you some debug messages so you don't have uh, to reset the watch all the time and mount it as a USB device and then reset it again and so on. But if you are lead hacker or something like that you can uh, rewrite uh, the system at all levels basically you can uh, get the tool chain and compile your own your own main bin file and uh, change all the functions in the watch even those written in C and you can you can even change the lowest level bootloader which is stored in uh, in the flash and uh, in the watch and you cannot you cannot access it uh, in a normal way you can do all this because the watch is open and we will see what which interesting things we can do with it thank you for your attention